I'm Aceid, and this is the first entry in a new series, World Building Wednesdays. In this series, I'm telling out details from some of my ongoing fictional work. For this first episode, I'm filling out a sketch of Fyrtolan infantry from the Collect Disaster Zone series. The Fyrtolan are the Dwarves of Ireland, originally from the hills of West Galway, Mayo, Donegal, and Kerry. They've been driven out of most of Galway and Mayo by the disaster of the zone, effectively losing their homeland to the Fomorians. The remaining dwarven cities each have a sizable militia, the Gardawalia or Home Guard, with a standing corps of professional soldiers, the Corp Chandra or League Corps. Their armies are heavily based around static defence in urban combat, and because of this, they are one of the first militaries to adopt widespread automatic weapons, primarily submachine guns. In our world, the primary impetus for developing submachine guns was trench warfare in World War I, but that hasn't happened yet. Most dwarves are shorter than humans by at least a foot or 30 centimeters, which means that their weapons are often smaller and lower caliber for easier handling. As of 1915, the city-states have standardised on 32 ACP, a weaker but lower recoil round than 9mm power bellum. This emphasis on compact, close-range weaponry leaves them with a gap in longer-range combat. To offset this, each platoon has at least one, possibly two, designated marksmen who carry a full-size rifle chambered in something like 3 or 3 British or 7.92mm Mauser. Many of these rifle dwarves are humans born within the surface boundaries of the cities, using their increased size to handle the recoil and weight. Riflemen or rifle dwarves will often have a low power magnification scope on their helmets that can slide down to aid spotting or aiming. On the surface, many prefer to detach the faceplate to aid situational awareness. This is why the regular helmet has four eyepieces. Each company within the Guard has a dedicated rifle platoon comprised of rifle dwarves. There may also be a heavy platoon who wield grenade launchers and or automatic rifles. As with the rifle dwarves, many are humans born on the surface. Weapons crews, in particular grenadiers, generally do not carry submachine guns. They are at best issued handguns for defence and rely on squad mate to provide them with protection. The one final piece of equipment, and one that is personal to each dwarf is a knife holstered in the back of the belt or on one shoulder that doubles as a digging tool. Many dwarves learn to use their off hand for this, leaving their primary hand free for their primary weapon. You may notice that none of the dwarves here have beards, and there's a reason for that. Their face masks include dust filters that can be upgraded to gas masks, and beards are known to interfere with that sort of thing. That's one reason why beards fell out of favour in the early 20th century of our world. Few Guard of Wally Battalions ever leave their home city. The Corp Chandra, the standing pool force of the cities, has several infantry divisions that rotate around Ireland, occasionally taking part in training exercises in other parts of the British Isles. They also have a dedicated railway infantry division for internal security logistics, along with an experimental mechanised division. I may go into further detail on this in another video once I've fleshed that out. The Dwarf and Inquisition field their own troops dedicated to policing and internal security. Their charter prevents them from being used in offensive operations, though they consider retaking Connemara, i.e. West Galway and Mayo, who to be a primary defensive role, retaking their homeland. Every guard of Wally Company and Corp Hunter Company has at least two assigned as police and chaplains, though many will also provide medical services so that their presence can be tolerated better. I'll cover them in another video. This was getting to well over an hour before I sped it up.
Yes, I'm an Egypt. That is going to be it for this video. If you have any comments or suggestions for other videos, put them in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one.